Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 59 of my Elden Ring playthrough. This is probably going to be the last one of the week. Um, touch wood with a little bit of luck. I will have um, Hard Space Shipbreakers uh, for Friday. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether or not I'm going to keep or have that for a long run in series or what, but we're going to give you a look at tomorrow anyway. Um, it may or may not be fully encoded by the time that that video comes out. Basically, the release date is on Tuesday, or was on Tuesday, and YouTube tends to take at least 48 hours to encode one of these videos at the resolution I upload them at. Uh, usually more than that. Uh, and I'm only going to have 72 hours for that to encode. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, we have a library behind us. We are almost certain that Queen um, Renala is either in here or on the other side of this. So naturally, we're going somewhere else first uh, because we got a second key. And I should have done this yesterday. Uh, there's also another reason for this. We've used half our resources just getting up here, but getting back up there should be pretty trivial. So this just... Make sure our resources are recharged. I have a spare key for you. Back to learn another. Why, of course. I have the spare key. Are you certain you're willing to give your glintstone key to me? My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the academy. To resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> I, I have no idea how you pronounce that. Back to learn another. Why, of course. Okay. We already have one, we've already given it to him. That's not going to help. Okay. Now let's teleport somewhere and see if he's moved to a location that we can just get to. Or if he's now going to be dead. Because you've got to mostly explore here anyway before um, he's even in or... Yeah, you've got to fairly decently explore the air. He's moved. So he's either in here or he's already dead. One of the two. Oh yeah. Looking at the position of these, I think the way you get to them must be from um, a hidden passage that I missed near the entrance. But we're going to worry about that after all of this. Let's keep our... If he's going to be anywhere, he's going to be somewhere safe. Or he's going to be dead. One of the two. I've half a mind to just do a quick loop to see if I can find him. Um, the reason being because... If we can... Oh yeah, the reason being... I'm wondering whether or not he will be able to intervene in the fight that's almost certainly coming. See if I can get this. This hasn't squashed us yet. That makes me so nervous. Oh yeah, we also have a this location to go. I think it is probably prudent. Do you have a weapon? Nope. You can survive. I think it would be prudent to head this way first. See if you know, the rest of the area fully explored. Although, is that just going to take us... Yeah, that just allows us... Or this just allows us to bypass... That's the thing. That rock is easy to dodge. But going this way... We have to deal with all of these. Oh. 
None of them have dropped their staff yet, and I know their staff is better than the one I'm using. Have we been through that doorway up there? I think I probably should just do a quick sweep of things. Isn't there, an, there was, there's a caster up there, there's a caster here. Let's just do a little bit of a quick sweep. I may cut this out, unless I find something. So Ah oh yeah, this was this hidden path we've been along here. Then there's up and down to another hidden path. This is up, so this would put me in the same level as that walkway. I just can't remember going through that walkway. We've already swiped at all of the bookshelves up here, so... Fairly happy about that. There are living pots down here. And then this comes back out through the side. Oh, there's a big jar. cast that spell quicker than I can cast my ability. Two, three. Oh come on, that should have hit him. Kind of thing. Fuck you! <laughs> Just steps to the side. Oh, you're tracking me now. I'm going to leave. Oh god, damn it! I'm gonna waste all my flasks not paying attention. We're out of mana, that's why. Memory serves, there's him and then these two. You're out of range. Well, he hasn't made it to here. And I wouldn't put the... He could be further back, but I would doubt it. Anything in here looks like it's going to disappear? Uh, 
Okay, let's go to the main library then. We'll worry about where our friend has gone later. Although I suspect he may have died. Yeah, I'm not sure why that would be considered a shortcut. That is most certainly more dangerous than this. I mean, yes, this will one hit you. But this is also pretty trivial to dodge. We don't know how we're supposed to get up there. The only way we can see is potentially a teleport. We've already checked down there, haven't we? It cannot open from this side, which means there's got to be more teleports around here. Not necessarily here specifically, just this area in general. Well, we've delayed the inevitable long enough. Interesting, we don't actually have enough mana to cast that. He's not going to be among here, is he? Hush, little Calva. That's an Allah. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. I really didn't want to have to fight you. Not a good weapon for it. This, however,
Oh, damn it, we select, uh, went past it. That would have been a good shot at all of them. out of the sky this is not helping Is there a limit to how many of these we can they can spawn? This isn't going getting anywhere. You're melee, how are you supposed to deal with this? Can I make a hit a self? So you can bring her down by cast. You can bring her down by ca uh, killing the ones that are doing the larger casts. But for all intents and purposes, I think we have to attack her. ones are responsible for the barriers. I don't want to kill you. Okay, if we had just attacked her and wasn't trying to find a way to not kill her, that's pretty easy. To which end, I think this is still good. This is just going to be the best way to do it. Okay. Well. Uh, 
she's the one that's supposed to be able to do rebirth, so I can't imagine that we're actually able to kill her. else to do before we get in there. Let's get that downers. Let's get that Eden. Get that ready. Let's wander inside. I disagree that that last book should have hit me. Okay, we're going to need to cover, get cover from that. If we can find one more, let's make sure we're topped up. She sings. I track her by her singing. I don't want to kill you. Although she is the queen of rebirth, maybe this isn't going to matter. of the night she conjureth. We don't have cover anymore. There we go. 
Come, O oh Swarm Giant. That hurt a lot more than I was expecting it to. Do we have to do both phases? If we have to do both phases, then we should prepare for the second phase. She ate a lot of damage really quickly, but... I need a better tank. I wonder if there's even a golden summon that would come with me on this particular quest. Maybe if I've done this... or maybe if I had done this the other way around... Um, the our sorcerer friend who's currently rotting away. Maybe he would join us? Okay, we got to do phase one first. too slow. Nope, just quick enough. Why do I feel so sluggish? That thing?
Oh, come on. We dodged it every other time, and that time, no. I think we may actually be better off with dual weapons for the second phase. Maybe my magic resistance um, had dropped by that point. Anything else we could leverage? I meant to, um... So many other noises, it's hard to identify sometimes which direction it's coming from. Yeah, try again. That wasn't enough. She already dealt with her. Dragon, you're not going to disappear. <sighs> it 
It's not that I can't do this. This is absolutely doable. We just forgot to swap our weapon. Let's make sure we go in with the weapon we mean to. Let's also swap this out because it's not going to help us. That'll help us with the first phase. Actually, that might help us in general. Maybe... Because we can now. Ashes of War. Quick step. Cold. When she's inside the moon, it doesn't look like I can do enough to her to get her out of there. Maybe I can throw a pot at her and that will do the trick? Uh, let's get rid of the crystal darts and start using... ...poison ones. I have a feeling... They'll work better. And we'll use that as our primary ranged attack. Swap that out for holy damage. Probably not going to help. everything.
Remembrance of the mo Full Moon Queen. Great Rune of the Unborn. You're not dead? Or did we? Did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty. Did or not? Come out, say I. Or will ye be gravestones to be better born anew? She lives. We didn't kill her. Manala, I'm a little annoyed at you. Unless this is Vanala. No, Vanala is the queen, Veni. Venai, Veni. Before that. <laughs> Victory! Um, remembrance. Take the power for its namesake via Finger Reader. Used to perfect rebirth. Amber Egg clutched by Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, Great Rune of the Unborn Demigod. Uh, perfects though who perfects those who have been born anew. Children born anew by Renala are in a frail and short-lived are frail and short-lived imperfect beings, each and all. So we need that if we ever want to reset our stats. We need that to fix ourselves. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg. Rebirth Cosmetics. Okay, so we can use her to change our appearance. Rebirth. We know what Rebirth is going to do. More a fear. I would birth thee as a sweeting, fair and fine. Locked. No melana. We finally hit 30 dexterity. We should see what we can get from these ashes. I imagine spells. I, here's what I'm betting. If we walk outside, we're going to get tarnished. A word, if I may, or something similar. Material needed by Manala to grant rebirth. Reallocate attributes by boost, uh, boosted by leveling up. But I don't really have a need to do that. Everything is as I want it, more or less, at the minute. So I appreciate the offer, but you stay there. Hmm, we defeated her. I suppose, yeah, she is clutching the egg, which may be bringing her back to life, but I wonder why Ren Renny intervened. I wonder where I can speak to her, if I can speak to her. We also have a couple of locations in here that we don't know how to get to yet. But we should head back to um, the Sight of Grace. Not Sight of Grace, the um, the table. What's the place called? The 
round table. Mayor Lakari, Grand Library. Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. So yeah, she's still alive. There is an NPC somewhere in here. Our next goal, goal will be this place up here, but there's still there's still locations we haven't been to. There's a locked chest back there. We haven't been up there. There is a locked chest there. Let's before I get back to the round table. Table of Lost Grace. Do you have anything to say? Ah, well then. May the gold. Oh, you do. Further study. I can happily spare the time. There's something I should mention to you as well. I'm thinking of leaving the Round Table hold. Do you know of the noble gold mask? Though he was but a tarnished, living outside the lands between, he was a great scholar who foresaw the coming guidance of grace. And now, I hear he has come to the lands between alone to contemplate the golden order. I wish nothing more than to seek his instruction and perhaps even help him in his research. Okay, good to know. I have to make a note that you are about to disappear. Shine through you. Ah. Well, I see you found another great room. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. Must has nothing to do about it. Oh, we can talk to her about him. Ah, uh, Vanala, Morgan's Gothic. Yeah, these were the five that we were told about, so we've already been told about the Secret of Navalian. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harboured suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly, what a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Nephilu, let's go back and talk to her. Now we have a better idea as to what's up with her. Yes, I'll go talk to the finger readers in a moment. Do you have anything to say? Nope. Do you have anything to say? Well, I took you no matter it's all out your arms then. No. Ah, you. Please. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I heard from Gideon. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, rather, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust him, Father, to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. No. How could I say father has a now? Hmm. We 
we were already very suspicious of him anyway. We're just going to have a quick hello. Because what I'm betting is he wants me to do all the legwork and then he's going to try and kill me. Journey to the capital. The two things. You maybe. Okay. My doubts, but my look at you. Only once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there, the fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree, and an audience with Queen Marika, to become Elden Lord, and restore the Golden Order. The Fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this, a token of farewell. <laughs> Yay! Finally, we can equip another Tasman, although weight is probably an issue. Now, go forth. Become Elden Lord. I have many more things to do before I try and attempt that. <sighs> Receive power from the members. Receive equipment of champions. Oh. Robe, uh, robe, or robe indict in the highest order of sorcery, worn by Ra uh, uh, Ranala, Queen of the Full Moon. When Ranala... Uh, head of both the Academy of the Rea Lucaria and the Carian royal family, lost her husband, Radagon. Her heart, was, uh, her heart went w along with him. And then, those of the Academy realised that Renala was no champion after all. I mean, obviously he's got a lot of resistances, but it doesn't appear to have any specific benefit to it. Half from remembrances. I think we want both of those. Not that we can use them, <laughs> but we want them. Boosts full moon sorcery. Non full moon. Incantation uh, uh, incarn incarnates a full moon and launches it at foes. Slots used too. Well, we do want to get both of these, even if we can't use them. So, we'll quickly do that. And then we'll go recover the... Um, we're going to come back here anyway. Because we have two places we can do this. Let's use... This one. Oh yeah, we were meant to talk to the sorceress, didn't we? Technically, I... Ah, no, this one's closer. One of what am I thinking? This one is the easiest by far. Okay. We can unmark these because we can only use it once. Shattering, 
She was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. A grim punishment for shattering the Order. Despite her godhood, the fingers speak. Marika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and the vision's vessel. Confer great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. The fingers have willed it so. Now you may go. Now go fall at the door. Hmm. Hmm. You haven't left yet. We're doing your task next. Uh, we left and came back, I wonder. Are you still down here brooding? Or have you come up, made, or made up your mind? No, how could I? Father has a now. Nope. Okay, one last thing, and then, because this is the end episode, we'll end back at the, where the queen was. I've potted this again. Oh, we're not allowed to attack in here. That's fair. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Um, immediately after this, I'm quickly going to do a sweep to see if we can find our sorcerer friend. So I may append that to the end or between here and the actual close. You weren't here before. Well, will you look at that? So I think that's our reward for helping him. I assume it goes on a shield. Oh, it's a art of war. Yep. Usable in small and medium shields. This ash of war grants an armament the magical affinity and the following skill. Thorpe's Barrier. Erect a magical force field while swinging the shield to defend sorceries and incantations. Can also be used in the same way as a regular parry. Interesting. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we are going to be um, playing Touchwood. Um, God, good lord, I forgot the name. Um, Hard Space Shipbreakers. Uh, so that's the plan for tomorrow's episode. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.